Today we're talking about color theory and how it's strongly used into the image consultancy field. If you want a video just about color theory, how it was born and so on, I can make a video about that. But today I want to focus about con image consultancy. While doing so, I'm going to use my eyeshadow palettes that I make with color theory so you can see how great they are and why do you have to buy it. Yes, I say have to. Color wheel was invented like four centuries ago, but it became more famous, let's say, when an artist from Swiss created it. He was just like, as you can see now on social media, he was just better at marketing, I guess. It was eaten. Uh, color wheel is useful for artists, designers, and whoever is in visual arts because it gives you an immediate understanding on how to match colors and also which colors are in contrast with each other. So it's immediate, it's very easy, it's very simple, it helps you. But then in the 80s, he yeah, had a decade when ugly was fashionable, was trending, was cool. In that decade, they decided to use color wheels to apply the color wheels to fashion. I mean, it makes sense if we're talking about, you know, windows or uh, catwalks. Let's say, yeah, catwalks even. And let's make a video just on catwalks next time. Uh, but then they were applying this to image consultancy and this is where they got it wrong. Why? Because you can apply this color wheel and the color theory on a mannequin that doesn't have a skin texture, doesn't have undertone, doesn't even have eyes or hair. Sometimes it doesn't even have heads. But you cannot apply this principle on people because we are made of so many colors. We have a skin in various different kinds of colors. We have undertones. We have eyes that have a color. We have hair and not just regular colors. But nowadays we have all hair colors, even just rainbow hair. Can you imagine? That's amazing. And this wasn't considered in the theory, uh, in the color theory. So at this point, I'll say I can continue this in part two. So as I'm an image consultant, but also I'm uh, very passionate about colors and fashion, I was noticing that this color theory applied to people wasn't working, it wasn't great. If something was wrong, something was missing. Because they created this seasonal like method, which is more kind of an opinion. So they put uh, all the people in the world in four categories. And you know, like the season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And based on that, they gave you a bunch of colors. But for every season, they still give you all of the colors. And that's why this cannot be good, this cannot work. Because all of us, we have at least two colors that are awful on us. And you know this is true. So how a method that gives you anyway all the color could work? It doesn't. That's why they invented more seasons. Now we have something like 16 seasons, but still they're not enough. Why? Because we are unique. We still keeping uh, stressing about uniqueness. We are unique, we are unique, but then you're still like, oh, what season am I? You're not a season, you're just a bunch of colors. And that's why I created my method, which is actually a method. It's not an opinion. You're going to need a graphing program to do the color palette the way I do. I consider your skin color, especially your undertone, then I go and check the exact color of your eyes, your hair, and then I see where, what color your skin is. So are you red? orange, yellow, green, blue, yeah. 
And then once I'm there, I'm going to see what kind of undertone do you have. And in all of your colors, I see how much of red, blue, yellow you have, you contain. Also, we are going to see the grays and everything else. And basing on that, I can take off all the colors that doesn't work for you. The two colors are all the derivatives. And then with the other colors that are good for you, I'm going to find the exact amount of the primary colors in it. So it's made, it's tailor made on your colors. And this works. I made hundreds of these and they works. Part three. Let's just have a quick example on why the season doesn't work. In the meanwhile, I want to do a little wingy thing that I'm pretty sure is going to be awful. So based on color theory on the seasonal method, these celebrities should have the same colors, but since you also have eyes, you can clearly see they don't have the same colors, but still they are categorized in the same season. So all of them are given the same color palette. But here we have warm undertone, cool undertone, cool undertone, and almost a neutral undertone. Also, the skin color is different. Here, I'm talking like phototype. We have phototype two, three, one, and two. Then let's talk about contrast. We have high contrast if we consider hair and skin, but she has blue eyes, she has blue eyes, she has dark eyes, and she has blue eyes. So three of them are not this much high contrast. These are the colors that have been given to clear winter. Look at all of this color. Try to remember them. Look at those. Now quickly. These are the celebrities, okay? She was given this kind of blue. This is the blue right for her. It's almost in the violet uh, range in the uh, color wheel. See the difference? Next one. She was given this kind of blue, but it's not her color. Again, this is her color, one of her colors. Again, this one, they suggest this one. I suggest this one. They suggest this one. And they didn't even give white, they gave black. But look at this, how gorgeous she is in white. Again, wrong blue, she doesn't have any blue. But look at her in orange. This is orange, not red. And again, look at her in yellow. Amazing. Her. She was given like this color. Too much. Because she's almost blue. And blue and orange, they are in the opposite part in the color width. So, no. Look at her here in this very pale pink. Again. No, she looks even paler and swollen up. But look at her in this very dark violet. Amazing. Still fair, the skin, but she doesn't look sick now. They give her this green. No, I give her this green. So what do you think about my method? Which one works? And just to finish, I use green on my eyes, which is complementary for this kind of green eyes. And then Let's see with this color, <clears throat> that is the complementary ones. The usually I don't suggest to use complementary colors in clothing, but makeup, it's a different thing. Here we're working about harmony, while here we can work with contrast. So let's see how this looks. This is not really red, it's more like a color red. So let's say more orangey. What do you think? Too so much? But also we can try with pink if you want to tune it down. I prefer in this case to use red because I have some red here as well. So I want to lighten up my face. Uh, because my um, color analysis method can be used also to make your makeup palette. So you're going to have 
already there at the palette that suggests you all the right eyeshadow colors, the lipstick, and also the blush for your cheekbones. But since in this video I'm just show and tell, let me show you what happens with pink, which is not the direct complementary color of green. In this case, I don't say it doesn't work, but not with these kind of colors. That's why I'm telling you, it's like doing art. You need to match the right colors. Otherwise, it's a disaster. See? W which one do you think was better? The uh, red one or the pink one? this doesn't work because they're not complementary and here on the face we need to work with contrast harmony contrast see you next time and i really hope these videos were, were uh, useful for you and uh, makes you better understand how to pick the right colors if you want to know more just comment here, uh, DM me, uh, keep in contact. You can find all my contacts in my website and see you next time.